Spinners and Sharks, here we are. We are at the Luxor, and tonight we are going to party. Like, I don't know what year it is, but the point is there's a new hotel casino opening, and we're going to get up there. So, let's go. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well, and we are here at the Luxor Hotel and Casino. So, uh, this time we've decided to book a two queen uh, pyramid room here with our my vegas comps and our m life comps so if it's something that you're interested in i'll put some uh, videos in the corner over there but let's go ahead and see if twenty dollars sweetens the deal and see if we can get an upgrade to a better uh, better room let's go all right guys here's the spot surprisingly it's actually kind of chill right now so yeah, let me go ahead and get my things for registration, and then uh, we'll get started. Maybe we'll even chill at the Aurora Bar. Okay, so a lot of you guys ask me how I do this. Well, this is how the check-in went down this time. So I went up to the agent at the check-in, armed with my $20 sandwich. That's your credit card, photo ID with the $20 bill, and for me, my MLF Gold card to throw in a little razzle-dazzle. The agent took my information and confirmed my reservation with the property. Oh, looks like we have you here on some comp nights. You must be quite the player. Maybe when I was younger, but I'm married now, I said in response. She politely laughed and then started taking my reservation. She noticed I had the $20 sandwich there and smirked. Sir, I take it you're looking for an upgrade? Well, now that you mention it, I would love to see if you had a more comfortable room available, I said. The agent sprung into action. I was ready for a basic tower room, but I figured I could push my luck a little bit more and shoot for a premium tower room or a pyramid room instead. It was an abandoned line at check-in after all. How many rooms could there be that are just lying around? I'm sorry, Mr. Vegas. It appears as if we're sold out. Can you please swipe your card for room charges? Sold out? I exclaimed. I looked back and forth. Did you guys have to close rooms? Are there any sorts of upgrades at all? That's when it got good. Suddenly, her manager appeared from behind. Hi there, agent. Are y'all having any trouble? The manager asked. Oh, Miss Manager, can you have a look at Mr. Of Vegas reservation, please? The manager took a look at me, and I applied my goofiest customer service smile. She then got to work on the computer, and with a twinkle in her eye, she shrugged. I'm sorry, Mr. Of Vegas. The hotel appears to be sold out. Please enjoy y'all's pyramid suite. She said before leaving. I shrugged and said, Okay, thank you, ma'am. Then it hit me as she left. Wait, Agent, did she say sweet? Room 1080, at the end of the hole in the pyramid, Mr. Vegas. Enjoy! Whew, that was a close one, guys. My undefeated streak has uh, almost come to an end. Apparently the whole hotel is sold out. So my pyramid room, um, I think it is going to be a pyramid suite, but it looks like I'm on 1080 and Tower 4B, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and see what that's like. Let's head over to, uh, let's head to over to the room now. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm all stuttering and nervous because this was, this was close, this was really close. I think this is the first time in Vegas I almost didn't get an upgrade, and that, uh, that kind of bothered me, especially right now, considering how, uh, how quiet it was. This is probably gonna be a radically different video than I expected to be. Okay, we're on the 10th floor now. Doesn't look like there's a slant to any of this yet. Let's see which direction we're supposed to be. 1041. 58 is down that way. 41 through 114. Okay. So we're actually going to be down this way. And we're going to see what it's like. Oh man, well this doesn't blow the ball already, but I guess for a free upgrade is what you gonna do, really. But it has been cleaned, allegedly. I wonder if this is Sin's room. We should check uh, Cinnamon's Girl's, Cinnamon Girl's channel and see if this was her room. Give it a once over, so Luxor. Okay, and here we go inside and... Okay, it doesn't look so bad in here. Okay, spinners and sharks, and here we go for the pyramid room tour. So let's go ahead and start with the bathroom as always. 
And of course, as always, you do have, wow, the lighting is harsh in here. You do have, however, your kind of slanted little vase over here and your cups for water. So that's always nice. And then we do have the sinks over this way too. So that's always good. A couple cleaning products. So you got the Cora lotion. This stuff is so watery, not very good. If you have dry skin, so I would recommend it. Shampoo seems to be fine though. Unless you have very sensitive hair, then I might not advise it either. Soap seems fine, so there's that. And then you, of course, have the tissues on the bottom side and toilet paper with emergency roll, too. You move right over to the rest of the bathroom here. Not too bad. A set of towels. One bathroom, uh, or one bathroom, one toilet here in the middle of the bathroom, though. So it loses points for not having a dedicated water closet. And then we have a stand-up shower in here. Okay, that is a little rough to kind of move, but that's not too bad. Have to check what the water pressure is like later. And then you got some pretty solid tiling in here too. On the bright side, it looks like it's an appropriately sized shower head, so we're gonna make it just fine here. I think that's good. Close that back up. All right. All right, coming back out to the main room here, you immediately, to your left, you have your bo full body mirror. Well, it's not really a full body mirror, but it's a full mirror, and if you take a step back, you can see everything on your outfit, aside from your kicks. But, uh, yeah, no, you can you can go ahead and check yourself. Make sure you're ready to hit the strip, or in my case, circuit tonight. Definitely not, uh, definitely not wearing this, though. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, jazz it up a little bit. And then, oh, okay, let's see what we got in the clean kit over here. So we did get clean kit, um, let's see what the contents are. So the contents of our clean kit looks like we got two surgical style masks. I guess they're just not making those uh, specialty masks anymore, the ones that uh, have the logo on it, so that's a little disappointing. And then of course we have the Cure hand sanitizer over here. So there's that, there's a ton of it too. And that's it. There's not a there's not a door opener or anything in this, so it's not as good as the one that MGM got us. And then of course we got the the clean letter from Luxor over here. I'll just leave this on the screen. Maybe I'll just take a screenshot of this. We'll leave it on the screen if you guys really want to read it. So I'll leave that there for a few seconds. You can pause the video and have a look. And thank you, Mr. Bowling, uh, President and CEO of Luxor and Mandalay Bay. Now, when we come back into the rest of the room, we do have our full body mirror, so you can properly check yourself before you hit the strip. Really wish I was TVP. He should be coming through for Circuit tonight. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to his channel in the description box below. I feel like I've referenced him enough, to him, enough times tonight to the point where I need to uh, put him up. And then also, you get to see the rest of the room here. So check this out. So obviously walking in, you got your king size bed along with the lamps too. And then you got the lovely Egyptian theming. I do actually enjoy the Egyptian theming, so I'm pretty excited about that. Moving on to the rest of the area here, we have the dresser and the dresser drawers. So you can unpack your things and get comfortable we're going to be here for a few days, so I'll probably unpack my things and get pretty comfortable. And then here's the big drawer, or the armoire over here. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's probably a better, uh, better word for it, but there isn't a proper closet in here, really. So the closet door there, that's actually an adjoining door to a whole nother suite. So we won't be using that. Instead, this will be our closet. And this is where we have our ironing board you have your iron right down there and of course you have your safe too so that's enough of that and we'll go ahead and move right on over to the oh we got the mini fridge over here i wish it actually had a better spot to be it's just kind of on this end table now so if we open this up and oh it's cold though and there's no nonsense in it, so this is nice. MGM usually fills their mini fridges with nonsense and weights and all that. So this is just a straight up mini fridge. So that's good, so we can put snacks and drinks in here. Moving on, you have a sitting area here. So you have your lamp in this corner, 
there's light over here, big window on the side, as well as your chairs over this way. And then you can also open up the windows here. You get a good view of the pool from up here, just from this little slant over there. And then also you can see, actually you get a good shot of Allegiant Stadium. I'll have to see if I can take a shot at night when the sun isn't beating down on us from up there so we can actually see it. But yeah, you actually do get to see the whole pool over here, see how busy it is, and then maybe see if you can sneak your way into a day bed or cabana for cheap. So that's a thought. Now coming back over this way, we have some more modern art on the wall. And we also have our vents over here, another little sitting area, and then a little spot for you to put your luggage down if you want to. And now here is the cool part of the room here. You actually have a tub over here, nice little infinity tub. Uh, oh man, this actually looks like it's still wet. Ooh, that is still wet, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it drained all the way. Whoever cleaned this, cleaned this in a hurry and it didn't drain all the way. So that's a little disappointing. But coming up here is actually gonna be a little difficult because the step to get up there is at a little bit of an angle here. And I'm about six feet tall, so now I actually have to, uh, I'm not sure if you can see from here, but I actually have to kind of crouch down a little bit. So just to, just to actually make it in here so I can get into the tub. But from here, you can also see the pool. Let me go ahead and show you. Got some more pool with the slanted window over here. Yeah, it's kind of, it's definitely still a cool thing. I like the slanted window. I just, uh, I like to look at it. I don't think it's very functional. I see what people mean by the pyramid rooms now. But it's good to know. But yeah, I'll see, uh, I'll see if it's worth using the, uh, using the tub while I'm here. It'll be very interesting. Looks like it's a two-person tub, if you know what I mean. But Wonder Woman is not here for this trip, so I'm not sure how much good use I'll get out of it this go-around. Honey, if you're watching from home, once again, I told you so. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, Spinners and Sharks, this is the one-bedroom pyramid suite here at the Luxor Hotel and Casino Las Vegas. If you guys want a better look at the Luxor itself, I'll go ahead and link a uh, video in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and you can enjoy that. But for now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some good use out of this bed over here. Um, very soft, very soft. Hopefully I'll be able to fall asleep. And then after that, I'll see you for Circa. But until next time, Spinners and Sharks, this is Ace Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, up we go. <sighs> Happy spinning, you guys. Alright then, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. When you come back to see us on Wednesday, we'll be back to my Vegas, and we're going to try out another way to not only get more loyalty points, but actually get a couple chips too and keep you playing a little bit longer. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas, and I'm signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva. Viva, it's a Vegas. Viva, Viva, it's a Vegas. Viva, Viva, it's a Vegas.